Let's talk battle rap. We here, man. They said battle rap dead. They said it's dry. They said the money's drying up. But we got tournaments going on. We got tournaments. Thanks. The 10 racks going on next weekend, man. The trenches, Philly. I got one of the guys up here, man. Y'all know y'all already know what it is, man. That's Titus. Y'all know what I represent. Y'all know I'm here for Georgia, number one. The South, I'm here for the South overall, but Georgia number one. And we got Georgia going to the trenches, man. Bring up well, yes, bring the bring the Georgia trenches to the trenches. You feel me? Back. Uh Back. I got Dre Majesty in the building, man. Dre, what up, bro? Welcome, welcome. What's going on, bro? Thank you for having me, bro. I really appreciate you letting me come on your platform, dog. For sure, man. And you know, I'm gonna tell you the one thing that you do that battlers should do, right? You know how to promo. Not only mm -hmm. promo, you reach out. I always appreciate mm -hmm. anybody to anybody that, that sees something we're doing and reaches out like, yo, can y'all do this? My like, oh, that's dope. Because I mean, the work we're doing is impactful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it meant a lot for you to reach out to me and ask me to do this. So I'm like, absolutely, I got you. Finally, I, I owe you one. I really owe you, owe you one. We were supposed to do this about last year. But <laughs> we were supposed to do this last year. But uh, but I got you, man, for sure. So Dre Massey in the building, man. He's battling Jay Moore on the trenches next weekend, man. They announced the battle. They Well, they announced the tournament. And I told you, I told you this off him. So people on that. Then I was tournament. I said, Jay Moore in that thing. If Jay Moore ain't there, I don't care. Then I seen Jay Moore. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I kept looking. I seen Dre Majesty. I said, okay, I'm really here now. My boy ain't here. And then, and then I said, the South in the building. I'm here now. And then they announced the matchups. And I seen Jay Moore with Dre Majesty. I said, damn, man. Y'all, this we gonna start me off with? <laughs> they, 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 we gonna kick it off? <laughs> A lot of people say that. This is one of the ones. One yeah, of the man. I'm mm -hmm. really hyped for this one. Um, if you really watching these battles, you really in these degenerate battle rap streets, I like to call them. When you really, you really in the trenches of the battle rap footage, you know this battle is this battle can be like that for sure. It's gonna really be like that, man. Um, so going into this, man, what's the we can get to a little bit of origins too, but what's the the mindset going into this? I know you're, you know, you understand, you know that Jay Moore is a heavy favorite. That's people. That's got people thought. Three told you. Three, three had three out here. Draymond was a favorite doing the whole thing. You know, but a lot of people feel like that. So what's it feel like mm -hmm. for you knowing that you get opportunity to not only play an upset role, but also show a lot of people how talented you are or who you are as a talent? It's an uphill battle, but um, it's no pressure on me. Ain't nobody picking me to win, no way. Right, it's, right, right. I'm playing with house money. I'm finna go in and let it fly. I'm not leaving that no on the that no nothing in the tuck. Um if I go out, I'm going out like Scarface in the mansion. I'm letting I'm letting the whole clip go. So um I really feel like I'm one of the most talented like punchers that people don't know about. I feel like I'm a gifted storyteller and I'm very excited. I can perform. So it's a small, intimate setting. Jay Moore is a storyteller. Um, I paint pictures too though. Um very talented. He has he gonna have moments, he's gonna be explosive, he's going to rap good. I'm dangerous too, though. Like the world just don't know about me, though. You know, uh, the yeah. match don't. Get, but I'm one of the best kept secrets in battle rap, and um, I get to show it on on a on a platform easy. One of the biggest battlers in the world. Um, Jay Moore, one of the hottest battlers in the world. He, you know, a lot of buzz around him in the bonus battle what he did on trenches last time. A lot of people excited about him. I gotta prove I can hang, and I'm 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 coming to fight. I know my life on the line. I know it's gonna be a dog fight. I don't want nothing easy though. Um, the knock on the knock on me is that I don't have a resume. Like I don't, I ain't never bought no, beat nobody who good. So that's the motivation. But it's no pressure on me at all. I'm not, I'm the underdog anyway. You know, I'm not. They not picking me to win no way. So I go on there with like cool bet. Let's do it. <laughs> I got that yeah. on my side too. Once if I start cooking, it's like hold on, who the who the, who is this? Whoa, hold on, wait, who is this? So I got that working in my favor too. So I just gotta go be the best Dre, and I know what I'm capable of. Yeah, yeah. I think being that underdog role, especially in the tournament, can be a real gift. Because mm -hmm. when people get people love being surprised, man. They love mm -hmm. they love me, especially in battle. Like, yo, who, what? Like you said, who is this? Why are you rapping like that? Like, I definitely think it's. I'm excited for this battle. I'm excited for you to have this opportunity for sure. I think it's the big. Like I said, it's a big moment. It's a big look. Um, now tell them tell them where you from, man. Let them from Atlanta, real Atlanta, born at Grady Hospital. Um, original address one one. Five zero Wilk Circle two zero nine. That's a born homes address. Um, them apartments ain't even standing no more. But Atlanta, through and through. Um, daddy from the west side. Mama went to West Fulton. 
they met on Bankhead. Like I'm this Atlanta through and through. I still got my breeze card. Um, I was here when Underground Atlanta was Underground Atlanta. You know, um, oh man, oh man, Underground. They don't they don't know about that before yeah. they ever put the comedy club down there. Um, so I'm I'm and that's the thing that drives me too is that um you know we've had a lot of prominent industry rappers you know what I'm saying superstars um and there haven't been that many that on the battle scene and that's something I, I claim and I I'm, I hold in high regard and I'm proud to be from here and I'm gonna make us you know I'm I'm really one of them I rep us so everywhere I go that's the really Atlanta like that's that's kind of my, my trademark and I'm proud and I'm and you know we got rappers they don't really give us credit for us being rappers rappers but i'm a rapper rapper like i'm right. i'm nice my pen really like that i be saying yeah. some shit yeah i pride in that and I, it's a small intimate setting they're gonna appreciate what i got and i'm i'm really looking forward to getting there and rapping and, and going through going a whole fight going a whole fight i'm not laying down i'm i'm i'm, I'm hungry too i got something to prove too i'm i'm coming to, this for my this for my region man i'm, I'm doing this for us <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely, man. You know, I love that song. You know, I love that song. We got to Because I, I, I said last year, I said, look, y'all got about one more year in the South. We about to take all of this. It's it's up. Look, we got a lot. Yeah, Trez came back rejuvenated. We got the new talent showing up. Swamp, but yeah, I said, this, listen, the South, it's, it's up for us. It's Yo, up. Topo, Rock Lee, Prime. Me? What? Yeah, it's, a me, lot. it's, it's, it's here. Mazi. Right, right. <laughs> We got some talent coming through. Yeah, dog, like the roster for sure, for is great. Sure. For sure, for sure. Now, um, what made you get into battle rap? What made you start battle rap? Um, to be honest, uh, you brought up Chef Trez. He gave me my first shot. Um, we got a mutual friend, mm. and I, I met my friend J Mike through. I met Chef Trez, Trez through J Mike. Trez through an event like two years ago called In the Kitchen. He gave new battlers a platform. I ran down on them just at a at UM5. We was in Hateville in Atlanta. And um, I was like, hey, man, I know you're throwing an event. Boom, boom. I want a shot. Asked me, could I get ready in a week? He gave me the shot. It's been booming ever since. From there, um, Lex Luther from I Battle Cop went to me. I, um, I was I battled on I Battle for like a six, seven month period. After that, Vixen the Assassin, she caught wind of my footage. I got my foot in the crucial board, got through the phase two, got called back for um the play in. So um I just the right people saw me. The right people saw me and I was always a rapper. And um one of my engineers, and I, I, I lived in Texas for a short period, he was like, Man, you should try to battle, bro. You 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 a puncher, you punch line heavy, you should try to battle. And I was like, mm. And I did it one time, it was good. I fell in love with it, and I just been the last year and a half, two years have been consistent work. Um, the right battles. If you gave me opportunity, I took it. I was willing to pay for my own flights in the beginning and bet on myself. I always just believed in myself and easy caught wind in me too. And was like, oh, he perfect over here. And it it, it just the right stuff just fell my way. Blessed, blessed to be honest though. The right people yeah. saw me, right, believed in me, and it's been happening there since, man. I, I love the, I love it culture i love to rap i love to tell my story that's why i'm here you know mm -hmm. i love to come i'm a competitor like i'm yeah who nobody's who signed up to lose who show up to lose <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a a competitor, you know so I'm, I'm in love with it i love it even before i started i was a fan first so um people like ill will made me want to battle like oh, serve make me work yeah. like um if you watch my some of my footage like I throw a joke in there too, or like I, you know, I have a funny moment. I get that from Will. Like Will is hilarious. Like I love Will. So, so many people inspired me. Rock, Chef Trez, like so many people. Like I watch them. Like damn, like made me fall in love with it. Clips, so, like so many people. Clean, um, Young Ill, like just watching it, and would never thought that I would be the places I'm am now. But I'm, I'm thankful. Like um. And I'm happy. Like I was at the uh, cruise in Orlando, and Quest McCody knew who I was. I was shell shocked. Like, oh right. shit, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It make you feel like, oh, I'm, I be forgetting sometimes. Like I'm, oh, I'm, I'm one of y'all. Like you know, not at that stature, but like I'm a battler too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's real. That's real. Because you still, you still, because at the heart, heart of it, you always a fan. You always gonna be a fan. You know, so you, uh, people, you watch, the people you watch, people you watch, see you and be like, oh yeah, I know you. It's like, what you mean you know me? 
<laughs> I met the face off with Jay Moore and Easy. Like, you know, they sent me your footage. I was like, oh, he fired. He belonged here with us. And I'm still in shock because, like, oh, Easy, my one of my favorites. Like, I I paid money. I flew to Houston. When they announced Easy and Chess, I booked my flight that same week. Like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to yeah. I was in Houston for that. You know, right, and, right. and two, three years later, I'm on this platform. I'm battling. Right. So that's it's surreal to me. I still being awesome sometimes. Like I'm blessed. I'm that blessed. So it's it's crazy to me, bro. When Easy told me that, I was like, oh shit. Like when he first called me, like, yeah, man, I'm a, I got you the contract for the time from the email it to you. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, bad. Oh, so because like I'm I'm genuine too. I'm real, so I can say that. Like I was still in awe, like, oh, because these people I watch, I paid money to see, you know, easy got us through the pandemic. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a whole fact. fact. <laughs> <laughs> Harry through the pandemic. It was him. Yeah. Cortez, T Top, um, Danny, Danny, like that. Yeah, yeah. Keep it above. So right. yeah, I'm still, I'm still in I be in fan mode sometimes. Nah, for sure, for sure, man. That's dope. And yeah, you know, it was funny hearing you mention Ill Will. I feel like I would Ill Will is a battle I would tell young battle to say. You wanna know how to do you wanna learn how to do a little bit of everything. Let me tell you, you watch. Let me show everything. You. you go out, go watch Ill Will. That man does it, like he incorporates so many elements of battle rap at once. And it's all all of it is. He's he's such a he's such a great time. I feel like he's still underappreciated in a few in a certain way. Still a little bit. You feel like he still don't get the love he deserves. Yeah, yeah. I feel, that's why I was glad he got those Hollywood Hitman bouts. Like, yo, now y'all, y'all, are y'all paying attention? Y'all see what's going on, right? Like, he everything. he really has been one of those for a long time. He do everything: performance, jokes, bars, yes. aggression, right. delivery. Like, it, he covers so many bases. Like, he just, I don't know, but it's weird, bro. It still feel like he just not. He not like he don't get the. It like you will name battles and they be like, oh, but Ill Will too. Like he be the, you know, but yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. He really and he's one of the dudes that like small room or stage, it's the same. Like it don't it's even the same matter. pressure. It's the same pressure. Like I was at um I was at him and Ward and him and uh Jag. I, I think me and you met at him and Ward. Was, was that probably, we, yeah, we did we did. We definitely yeah. did. Yeah, we definitely did. Yeah, yeah, we sure did. You never feel like you didn't get your money worth. You never feel like you no. cheated when you paid to see him. You no, ever feel not at all. Like, I'm, I'm glad I paid that money because like he just <laughs> give he show. He give you a show. For sure, for sure. And then I was at him and Hitman last year. I'm like, yeah, this is the same. No matter what, it's, it's the same feeling you get watching Ill Will. Like the same feeling. He just never disappoint, bro. <laughs> at all, bro. At all, dog. Like I'm a big, I'm a big Will fan. He's definitely a bad little study, like you said. So um, he said you you have a punch heavy, but you got to tell them stories too. Mm -hmm. You know, you get that storytelling bag, which I think is very. That bag is always gonna be accepted in battle rap. Ultimately, that's what we hear. You know, we love we love all of that. So I think incorporating mm -hmm. that. How difficult has it been to blend those styles together? Has it been a little tricky to like blend it, or has it come come kind of easy? Um, it's the more I have battled, because I am a little bit inexperienced. But the more I have battled, it's been a little easier. Like, um, I try to give you a little bit of everything. Like, I try to punch, punch, get into the boom, boom storytelling, and get back. Hop back in the, you know, I try to give you a little bit of everything. You never want to do one. Me personally, for my style, I don't never want to do too much. But um, that was the challenge for the tournament of like, I got three rounds. I want to show I can do a little bit of everything, but I still, I got two minutes. To, I got a score. I got a score too. So boom, boom, boom. I got to make it count. Boom, boom. Right. Make it count. Boom, make it count. So it's been, but it's kind of natural because I'm, like I said, I, I'm a, I paint pictures. I was a, I'm recording music and remembering Porsche since I was like 13, 14. So like it's a little, it's a little natural. But that's something I'm always gonna do though. Like I'm a storyteller. I'm gonna give you my life. I'm gonna draw from stuff I've seen and I'm gonna give you, you know, stuff I experienced. So it's it's kind of natural. It's kind of natural. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's real. I think um is this your first three rounder? Nah, this is um I think this is my fifth or sixth. Okay, fifth okay, okay. So so it's not a new experience right for a three rounder for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, cause mm -hmm. I know I know a lot a couple of your last drops were all ones, I think. I know you and G Lo one. Was one, you and um A U was a one. Uh, G Lo yeah. was a one round, the roller was a one round. I had kind of yeah. been like a round of tour a little bit. <laughs> right, 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 right. So yeah, but mm -hmm. getting back to that three round bag, it was was it a little tricky or was it kind of you you felt comfortable? Cause I feel like I know a lot of battles, they I feel like especially newer battlers, when they get doing one rounders, it's like they don't know how to write uphill at a consistent level it's like mm -hmm. boom that first is bomb it's like hey you got two more it's like oh yeah i, for I forgot i had two more rounds like no 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 you know I you think gotta, that's a trap they can fall into 
that was a challenge for me too to like, all right, that was fire, but okay, you gotta stay in that same, okay, go up now. Go yeah. up. Still yeah. gotta make like so that's that's something that I've kept in the back of my mind. Um to stay like hey, be consistent. Like mm -hmm. I stay in the same, you still gotta be explosive, but the material still gotta be on par with what you got, what you open up with. So um it wasn't much of a struggle. If it, it actually felt good and I I I feel really good by my material. I feel super, super good. Like if I go in there and deliver like I'm supposed to and perform it like I'm supposed to when it land like I'm supposed to, I will live with my chances because I feel really good. Yeah. Yeah. And you've had one thing about easy, easy uh he believes in time. So he gave y'all plenty of time to uh get everything locked in. Mm -hmm. so, um, to get ready. Yeah. So how how long do you think how long do you like prefer for writing to memorizing to performing? Like how much time do you like to get you like to have for all those steps? Three, four weeks. I like three, four yeah. weeks. Okay. And then, okay. And you know, two minutes is not a lot of time for a rapper rapper. And I've been doing one round, it's like four, five minutes. So if you chop it down, it's really a one round is split into three. You get what I'm saying? Like the yeah, right yeah, yeah. one round, it just split up. So it's been I've been in the good, I've been in a good space. I've been in the dojo. I've been sparring with some of my, my comrades. Like I've been in a real good, healthy space and I feel good, man. Like I, I feel good. Um one of my close, close friends, like I don't need to consider him a battle rap friend, is Ease. You know, Ease from the South. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Rock with Ease heavy. Rock with Ease heavy. Me and Ease talk, me and Ease back and forth, me and Ease chop it up. Like I'm like, hey man, I got some, I got some shit, Ease. I got some shit, Ease. And he's like, yeah, I bet. And we've been he and we've been like, yeah, he feel good. Like, little brother, that's it. You know, he's from the South. Little brother, yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> little brother, that's it. I like that. Like, listen. And he told me the same thing. You told me, like, listen, go deliver that shit. Go sell it, nigga. You better go deliver that shit. I'm like, bet. So yeah, I feel like man, I'm really I'm super confident. I feel amazing. I think yeah, I'm finna shock the world. I'm telling it, saying it right now. I'm finna shock the world. I'm I shocking love, the world. I love they said it. Shock everybody. I'm shocking the world. We gonna shock the world. I, <laughs> I told you, song. we gonna shock the world. I love this song. And you know, the thing about this battle too, like I said, like I said, I think it's a little under the radar. People don't necessarily know you for one. So I think everybody's gonna mm -hmm. come in there expecting they gonna know what Jay Morgan bring. They're gonna see what you bring with him. That's gonna elevate the matchup. Then you know the other part mm -hmm. of it. The secret thing in battle, right, man? Quiet thing. Them quiet face offs, just a lot of respect in between the two people. Mm -hmm. That's when you get some of the craziest battles because, yeah, it's not. I, like the... I didn't want to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to piss him off. I understand. I understand. But that face off, like, he showed you a lot of love too. He's like, yo, he's fire. I know what he do. But those face off, when you get two people who know what the other's about to bring and they know what's on the line for both of them, that sometimes leads you to the best battles, like the craziest clashes. So that, that's my why I, was, I watched that. I'm like, yeah, I'm here for this. When I got a flight, I start getting ready, like, you know, which, and then and then to talk about, I call, I yeah. call my girl, like, hey, it's Jay Moore, <laughs> hey, let's let's work, and then to talk about, I know everybody, everybody in that room knew who potentially was the favorite and the most dangerous thing in that room. We got to be real about it. Everybody knew, hundred percent, yeah. I drew him though. Right. It's time to go to work. It ain't nothing to talk about. Like, cause any given Sunday, um, I was in the building when I said this in the face. I was in the building when True Foe beat Geechee. Nobody beat had True Foe being Geechee. Let's be like nobody on their polls on they like the polls was ninety ten, so it can happen. I've seen it. Yeah. So I'm drawing inspiration from that any given Sunday, and I know what I'm capable of, bro. And I, I just I really feel good. And thing is, I feel like it's a perfect battle because he talked. We talk the same, the language. It's just the Virginia version that he talks. Yeah, it's the rich yeah. version. It's the Atlanta version. I'm gonna say y'all the like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be country. I'm gonna, but like it's he talked that shit I like. I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. I'm I, gangster. I had to keep it real. Like he, he explosive. I'm a, I, I yeah. gotta prepare myself for the like. He finna drop some bombs in his battle. Keep, 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 keep. keep hey, don't don't be moved. It's coming. Just right. fight back. I got some bombs. He gonna land some shit in that room. I it's. The, but I got a rap too, you know. I got right, a rap right, too. right, exactly, exactly. I got too, so pause if need be. But I got a, I got, <laughs> I, I got, I, I got a, I got a fire back too. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna be well prepared. For sure, for sure, man. I think, like I said, I think it's gonna be one and ones. I'm excited. Next, next Saturday, next mm -hmm. February seventeenth, man. It's up. February seventeenth. I'm calling right now. Early battle of the year content. Um, and it's gonna be like one of them. Yeah, we need, I, some. I we need some. We need some. And turn battles, turn battles always hold up more to me anyway. Like turn any battles, 
with real stakes attached, they always hold more weight for me in any conversation. Like I'm it's really big in the stakes and the moment and what it meant. Right. So it's a lot. Don't nobody want to yeah. go home in the first. I don't want to go home in the first round. I don't want to go home. Right. Like, no, I didn't come out here cold. Philly cold as hell, man. I ain't coming out. <laughs> I'm from Atlanta. I ain't come out the. Man, I ain't come out. No, I ain't come to look cold right back home. Sad as hell on that flight. I, I'm coming to win. I ain't showing up to lose. Facts. Facts. I got a man. For sure, man. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun one, man. There was something else I wanted to ask. Oh yeah, it's getting some fun questions. All right. So who are your favorite artists in music in general? Well, in music? Know. Yeah, who, who, who you listen to? I've been listening like lately. I've listened to a lot of um um a lot of Pac. Um, to go mm -hmm. back a lot of Pac, a lot of um. I've been listening to a lot of Mace, a lot of old Mace. I've been listening to a lot of um No Cap, Rallo Rodriguez. Um, I've been listening to a lot of surf, uh, um, surf music. Um, seventy five quarantine tales, like Man. yeah, yeah. I've been listening to a lot of surf, like the um, Saha the Prince. I love Saha. Um, uh, what else? I've been listening to uh, I've been listening to a lot of old T I P S C. I'm a big Young Dro fan. Young Dro, one of my favorite rappers in the world. Um, yeah, I love. I love Young Joe. He's one of my favorite rappers. Joe's so fire. And so underappreciated. When we talk about he people is, not bro. Out, like the imagery and the punchlines, like Joe was, if he uh, cared, if Joe cared about being a rapper, like he could have been Hall of Fame. Like he didn't sure, care. For sure. For sure. You're right, 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 right. It's so funny. Know, like, it's funny. Like, you was in Shoulder Lane. Shoulder Lane, obviously, you know, it's a hit. But it's like, yo, you had in pockets he was getting in the Shoulder Lane, dog. He was, was wild. Wild. <laughs> wild. It was wild. It was wild on Shoulder Lane. What? So, oh man, you making me. I'm sad now. But Drew, one of my favorite, <laughs> and he from my, and he from my part of Atlanta. So Drew, one Drew, my favorite ever, bro. Like I love Young Drew. So I listen to a lot of different hip hop though. Like I listen to a lot of Fab too. I love Fab. I love oh, yeah, Fab. Yes, yeah. so because I'm, I'm a punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love he really Fab. one of those in the He's really one of those in the punches, man. Um, Soul Tape I'm, Three, one of my favorite mixtapes yes. of all. Yeah, I, I remember, man, I remember Soul Tape days, and I'm like, yo, what is happening right now? Like, yes. see, that's see, that's the thing, man. That's the thing, man. You know, we always make, we, we're going to make fun of New Yorkers a little bit. New Yorkers, mm -hmm. you know, they always, they always be, they always treat us a little different. We always, we, all, we love all their rappers. We don't hate New York rappers. We love, we we love New York them. rappers. We love New York rappers. We respect them. For real. But, you know, yeah. that's they always, they always trying to throw shots. And then we, and then we got to throw shots back, because now you made us defensive, see? You know, we, we, but love I, I, we embrace it. I love, we, love we love New York. <laughs> a lot of them get crazy, bro. Like I never yes. cut. They get crazy, and I'm a For big real. fan. Big fat. 2014, I think that take drop. That was, that take stayed in rotation for a while, bro. I love, I love yeah. fat. I love fat. Yeah, for sure, no. for sure, for sure, man. Um, all right, so Atlanta, right? I asked Trez this question a couple years ago. Okay. I, said, I asked. I said, "What's the what's the number one wing spot you take somebody to?" He said, "You get good wings anywhere." I'm like, "You're really right," but if you pick, would you pick? Do you do you do you have one you would pick? Like, what's your? You got a go to spot? American Deli on Cascade. Yo. Yeah, American Deli on Cascade. Yo, or funny story. Go ahead. I go live ahead. in Lagrange, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know where Lagrange is. It's, it's like, like South Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, toward, it's west. It's west towards okay. Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they built an American Deli here, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Probably many years, probably 2011, something like that, right? It was trash though, like it wasn't good. So I didn't know like American Deli was really like that. Mm -hmm. So I went close to the A and I went. I said, "Oh, this is what it's supposed to. This is what it's supposed to be." Because one here closed down because they they weren't doing it. The one here closed down. I went to a real. I said, "Oh, this is what it's supposed to be." It's supposed to be. Oh, like, y'all yeah. was tripping. Yeah, I'm like y'all was tripping. They know no better. <laughs> they ain't know no better. They ain't no good. Mm -hmm. at all, bro. I was I was so disappointed. But yeah, I went to. I said, "Oh, my eyes was open." I said, "Oh, this this real." So yeah, American Deli, yeah, that's good. American Deli, um, SK or um, they closed down. We just have a place called Grips. Um, Grips, good eats and sweets. They wings was fire. It's a place over here on on the south side. Um, Legend Cafe, a wings is fire. Like, bro, it's so many places, bro. But in my like top three, like I want some wings. I'm going there. Like, yeah, no, no funny for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's lit. That's lit. Cause that's the spot. When, when my friends ain't mad, I said, well, you come out here, you ain't get no lemon pepper wings. You just make me mad. That's why I tell yeah. all of them. You don't get nothing. That's my favorite. I love lemon. That's oh my go God. To. I don't see it. Like, I be, I be sitting there like, man, I'm going to get a different wing. Nah, I don't. Because why? Why, why do you something different? You never perfect. go wrong with 
you pepper. can't. It, it can never let you down. Lim Pepper can never let you down, bro. I believe, but I live by that. Lim Pepper can never let you down, man. Uh, in my crucible, like what did I tell you? I said, uh, um, I said, fuck being season, season a moment. I'm so Atlanta. The drum got lemon pepper season and on. And I, I had to rap about it. I yeah. had to rap about, you it, talk about it. You gotta talk about it. What's um? So let me get back to that real quick. What's your um? If you want people to go ahead. If you want people to um get in tune with you, what battles would you just pairing them to if they watch from you? I would tell them to watch Dre Majesty versus Ty Mac. Um, that was in Staten Island, my I Battle debut. And I would tell them to watch um Dre Majesty versus G Lo. That was um I felt really good going to that G Lo battle. I felt like I was crazy. I felt like I was in the cooking. I felt like I had some moments. Um I thank you for G Lo for giving me a shot and you know, kind of passing the torch, you know, subliminally as far as Georgia battle rap. Like, all right, right, you, right. Um, you got to get in the backyard. Like, you got to duke it out. It meant a lot to me. So, um, though, to my my time, my time, my time at performance, though, like, I felt really good. Um, out of town, new league. I'm walking up with my Outcast shirt on. Like, nah, I'm I'm here. Like, I, right, I'm, I'm, right. Rap, and uh, that was three of the best. I think. Um, crafting rounds I had. I, I was really rapping. I had moments, had jokes, had punches, had storytelling. Um, three of my favorite rounds probably ever in my life. And it's crazy. That's my second battle level, but I really appreciated that battle. That, really, that battle meant a lot to me because it was like, I belong. Like, I am I'm, 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 I can do this. That big game to accomplish. Like, okay, I can do this. I, I, I'm, I belong in this sport. I can do it. So that battle meant a lot to me. That's fine. And I think the good thing for you, especially going to this, it's not your first time on the road. Like, mm -mm. you've been in Texas, you've mm -mm. been in Staten Island. Like, you've been, you been outside. Not You ain't been battling at home. I think a lot of new talent, they battle in their home a lot. And when they go on the road, it's different. Mm -hmm. Oh, why is it different? Because it's a different feel. The road's going to be different no matter yeah. what. So I'm glad you got some of experience. Your friend's not here. You got to earn it. Yes. You got to yeah. earn it. Yeah, all of it, for sure. Everybody look good in front of 10 of their 20, 20 of their friends. Absolutely. Everybody. Absolutely. It's just being real about it. I look good at home. When you go in front of them, a Houston barcode crowd or a, a I battle crowd or even a crucible crowd. Like my first time at the crucible, like um, I was like a, um, when I got to phase two, I was a little taken aback. Like, oh shit, it's oh yeah, like it's different. You, it's it's different right. being in them space. You really gotta earn it. So, and I, I and I think I thank God for the lumps I did take and the lessons I did learn. Like, bro, I'm, like in my head, bro, I'm wilding right now. They not saying it, but I know this shit by it, bro. I'm in here cooking. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. op may came, the op may have came with 20, 30 people. The niggas not they gonna look at you just like they might give you a. <laughs> That's all you get. Cool. Cool. All you, get. you gotta fight through that. You gotta keep rapping, like yeah. So for sure, for sure. I don't know my lumps. I thank God that I did hop out there and like opportunities that were presented to me. If they was on the road, I took them. Like okay, bet I'm not scared. I will go. I have to get out of my comfort zone because now I'm prepared for whatever happened. Prepared. Whatever happened, I'm coming to cook, and I'm gonna live my result. You have to get out your comfort zone, like, because especially when you at a certain level, you're a professional battle. You're gonna be on the road a lot. You're gonna be 100%. out of the town. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. So, and you the unknown entity. You the you know the less popular battle. Like, you finna have to earn it. Ain't nobody finna give you no, you know, no pity claps. No, you gotta earn it, nigga. Like, go. We wanna hear something. Right. Right. So, we, right. It's, I'm a. I'm accustomed to it now. Yeah, and that's the battle. It's more, it's more fun when you get the when you get to take when you get to show a new crowd something. Right? It's like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here to earn it. Y'all want me to earn? It, I'm gonna earn it too. It's just more fun. You get that. It's more satisfying. You get that feel, right? Yeah, they don't know what to expect either. So you start wild, and it's like, oh shit, hold on, wait, oh wait a minute, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's fire, man. But yeah, I don't think I got nothing else, man. You got any any final thing you need to say, man? Any last any final thing you need people to know? Jay Moore versus Dre Majesty, the trenches tournament. Make it out the trenches first round, Gutter City, Philadelphia. Y'all tune in, get the pay per view at guttercity.com. Um, battle rap is not dead, it's very much alive and well. And we finna have one of them ones. Um, I'm coming to fight, my, I'm finna fight for my life. I'm going if I go out, I'm going, I'm, I'm going out blazing. I'm going out blazing. They're gonna have they got to gun me down. So, Atlanta, this one for us, I'm gonna do it. I'm excited, bro. Y'all, please tune in. It's one of the battles early, battle of the year candidate. It's one of them ones. I'm coming to cook, man. I'm coming to cook. Let's get it, man. And thank you for having me, dog. For sure, bro. For sure, bro. We'll have you after, too. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk again after. Mm -hmm. 
I'm saying getting that, getting that lab. On, I, know you, I know you said you've been in the dojo. You said you took, you, what's that? You took, yeah, yeah, I know, I know I ain't say what you said, but you, you went, I know you in the dojo. <laughs> you in the dojo. I'm locked in. Yes, sir. You can't, the best thing is an opportunity, and you don't play with opportunities. Mm. You don't play. So like I'm, I'm not taking it light at all. But I know it's at stake, and I, I want it. I want, I want it, bro. I'm here for a reason, and I want to earn yeah. it. I want to go. I want to world, bro. I'm finna piss up. I'm finna ruin a lot of people brackets. I really believe That's that. A, fuck up they parlay, bro. Fuck them parlay. I'm finna fuck bro. them up. They're gonna be mad at me, bro. But I'm, I'm ready, bro. That's why I'm here. I got flame, and I'm here, bro. I gotta, I belong too, bro. Let's get it, man. Hey, that's Dre Massey. This left off battle rap, man. The Trenches Tournament. You heard him. Trenches Tournament, February 17th. Go to city. You said go to city.com? Go to city.com. Hey, y'all get that seat. See, you good, at, you good at the promo. That's why you sold all them tickets for the Crucible. See, that's why yeah, I did. No, yeah, doing. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gang. For sure, man. For sure. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for listening, man. And y'all be, we'll see y'all tuning in for more, man.